and welcome back. It's time to talk a little more football. Why not? The biggest bus, yeah, right? The biggest buzz here in Delaware High School football, Smyrna running back Will Knight verbally committed to play at the University of Delaware this nice. week. The running back is entering his senior year at Smyrna and has two state titles under his belt. The Eagles beat the Sallies his sophomore year for states and last year's state title game, a thriller against Middletown. Smyrna took it 36 to 14. Now over his three seasons, Knight has totaled over 5,800 yards, 84 touchdowns. He's a wow. first team all conference player and first team all state selection last season. He and former Smyrna quarterback Nolan Henderson made a dynamic duo on offense for the Eagles. And the good news for the Blue Hens, the two are going to be reunited for what's going to be an epic three seasons. Henderson is beginning his first season up at UD, so I'd imagine that attendance is looking good in the future for UD. The whole town of Smyrna is likely going to make a trip for those home games. You know it. That number 25 looking a little bit like Shady McCoy there so in quick. the backfield. So he really quick. is. The most athletic, like, dual threat in I the world. Can't wait to watch him play out there, but we have and another nice year. As well. So congratulations. That is true. Well. That yeah. is true. And we do have another year, Haley, though, of watching Knight play uh, for the Eagles. But on to the NFL. This is a really interesting story. So while football, uh, for the football season is heating up, we got to take a look at some local players from the shore doing big things in the NFL. Yeah. Because why not? Absolutely. We talked about Delmar earlier. How about Alex Ellis, former Wildcat? He's in his second season in the NFL after playing at the University of Tennessee. So pretty good football school, you would say. University yeah, of Tennessee. I would say so. Go he balls. earned a chance with the Titans during training camp, then was picked up by the Jaguars last season. He saw some action, and during the preseason, he's gotten some touches as well. Uh, against the Patriots, he had two receptions for 11 yards, and Haley, I can tell you that two receptions for 11 yards in the NFL, I mean, that's certainly something that I would boast about. Oh, yeah, big time. You could, <laughs> I would hang my hat on that, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it's cool to just see hometown Salisbury, Maryland alone right. on an NFL roster. That's so cool, but we got to talk about that quarterback up in Green Bay, and no, I'm not talking about Aaron Rodgers, former Wesley Wolverine Joe Callahan. Now, Callahan made such a statement last preseason that he broke camp with a roster spot as the third string quarterback. He was released to make some room later on and then was picked up and released by both the Saints and the Browns. Well, he's back with the pack yet again, grinding to make the roster against the Eagles. He was 10 for 16 passing for 103 yards. Now with Wesley up in Dover, he won the Gagliardi Trophy, which is D3 football's equivalent of the Heisman. He was the first quarterback in D3 football history to throw for over 5,000 yards in a single season. We're sure everyone in Dover will have their eyes on Callahan as he tries to make a case for himself heading into the regular season up in Wisconsin, but always exciting following Joe. That's yeah. fantastic yeah. to see someone like that. Gagliardi. Yeah, so that three right? times fast. Gagliardi. Gagliardi. <laughs> Don't <laughs> challenge me like that. <laughs> Come on. We're hitting another commercial break, but coming up, the Battle of the Beltway went down this past Thursday, Haley. Ravens and Redskins. Yep. Who looked good? Who didn't look good? We're going to discuss all that next. My name is Mark Quillen. I'm the Tech High School. I'm the head football coach. Don't Sports Insider.